Right, we're going to make a very simple people counter for a door using a microbit. Um, a microbit's got a light sensor on it. So as people kind of walk past it, they'll kind of block the, the sunlight hitting it. The light level will go down and that's how you'll detect a person going by. So uh, first thing we need, I suppose, is some kind of like, you know, way to measure light level. So um, I'm going to go into inputs here and uh, I want to find where light level is. There it is. Light level. Grand. Project done. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to need something that says if the light level is a certain level. If the light level goes below. And it won't go in there. So I need some sort of comparison thingy. And I think that's under logic here. Here we go. Comparison operator. If the light level is below. Okay. Well, hang on. Well, what? What actually is? I'll just put this in a forever loop so it keeps doing it. It, what actually is a decent light level? I don't know. Uh, I'll get back to that. I, I, let, let's just say what, what happens. So um, let's just say uh, as someone walks by, there's two outcomes. Um, we'll just put in like some icons. So like maybe a happy face and a smiley and not happy face. If I just do this in a simulator, let me just see. So. 255 is a max amount of light that we, we can have there. Um, loads of light. And if there's loads of light, it means no one is standing in front of it. And that's why they're sad, because there's no one there. But if the light drops down to a certain level, okay, let's put it in the middle to start off with. So 255, I don't know, let's just go roughly like 128 is kind of in the middle. Okay, so if it's less than 128, so let's say it, it goes down to like 12, they must be really blocking it. So the thing is happy. Great. Now we just have to add a counter, you know? So um, what I'll do now is just come up with a variable. Let's just call it uh, peoples or number of people. Number of people. Grand. Here we go. Um, I guess change the number of people by one uh, or you know, don't change it if uh, there's no one there. So I think we're we're kind of getting there now. The only thing is, I want I want maybe when we start this up, this program to make sure that uh, the the number of people is zero. <laughs> it should start counting at zero. So under variables here, I'm just going to go with set the number of people to zero, and then you know change by one as it goes as as kind of goes like that. Um. This is fine. The only thing is I've nothing to keep track of how many people are there. And that's kind of the point of this whole device. So at the end, I'm going to show how many people there are. So show number, uh, the number of people. So that should be here under variables. Show the number of people. There we go. It's time to test this out. I've gone way too far without testing this. So press go. So let's say there's loads of light. Loads of light means surely that there's nothing hitting the micro bit because it's, you know, direct sunlight. Nothing's getting in the way. So it's saying sad zero, sad zero, sad zero. Perfect. That actually makes a lot of sense. So let's say the light starts dimming down to 180, still nothing. But let's say someone really stands in front of it. It's gone to 51. One, two, three, four. I'm not sure they'd have enough time to get it. I, there's a chance if they walk through that door slowly, they're going to, it's it's going to have counted three. And in fact, I'm lucky I have this little show icon here because there's an inbuilt pause in this. If this thing is working really fast, like if there wasn't a show icon there, um, it could count like a hundred by the time, you know, they actually unblock the thing. So I'm going to have to put a pause in there uh, to kind of allow them to move through the door. So I'll just go into basic I'll go pause and here we go. Give them like a second grant. And that's pretty much it, which is good because there's someone at the door.